Hey guys, James here with Waterford Business Solutions, and today I wanted to talk about doing refunds between House Call Pro and QuickBooks Online and how they're going to affect each other. This video is going to specifically talk about credit card refunds. I've previously done a video about cash, check, or other refunds, but credit cards are a little bit different. The reason that they're a little bit different is because in House Call Pro, um, when you accept a credit card and then they pay out that credit card transaction, as long as you're using House Call Pro as your credit card processor, they're going to be removing credit card processing fees for you before it goes into your bank account. So when it goes into QuickBooks, they've got to make that recording, even though you've, the bill is paid in full, they're making the recording of those credit card fees coming out, which I've also shown in another video. But when you go to refund, you aren't refunding the entire amount of that transaction, that entire refund, out of your account. You are only refunding what House Call Pro gave you, and House Call Pro is refunding their credit card processing fees. So keep that in mind. So when that pushes over into QuickBooks, even though your bank account looks nice and clean, it can kind of throw some weird things into QuickBooks and everything. So we're going to go through an example today. And I've already got this transaction here set up with what we did for our customer for the total amount. And we've already paid it. Now you'll see that it's paid by type other. Now this should typically be credit card. My account isn't set up to run credit cards. It's only set up to do cash check and other. So I'm not physically able to process it, but we're going to pretend like this is a credit card transaction here. And we're going to refund that customer. Instead of the full amount, we're just going to refund them $1,000. For some odd reason, that customer, maybe they weren't happy with the service that we issued, so we're giving them a 10% discount um, or something like that where we just have to issue a refund. Now what that does in QuickBooks is we're going to go ahead and we're going to see this invoice come in for $10,000. We're also going to see this payment come in for $10,000. But we're also going to see a refund issued for $1,000 right here. So we've got our invoice here matching up to the job in House Call Pro here for $10,000, $10,075. Then we've got our payment that was done in other for $10,075 matching up with this payment here, which would be a credit card payment. And historically, what we would go ahead and see happen there is that would go ahead and be deposited into our account because after two to three business days, House Call Pro goes ahead and makes that deposit, does the bank deposit through QuickBooks, removes the fees, everything like that. Um, since this was not done by credit card, House Call Pro isn't doing it automatically. But the example that I'm giving um, today is also going to be an immediate refund. So maybe here we accidentally charged them 1075, but we should have only charged them 975, and we immediately realized that. And you can't cancel a credit card transaction once you do it. All you can do is refund it. So that's what we're doing right here. So what that's going to create is it's going to create these three transactions. This payment and this refund are sitting in our undeposited funds. So what we need to go ahead and do is come to the plus new icon and go to bank deposit. In this bank deposit here, we're going to see all of our transactions. And what you see right down here is that payment that I was previously talking about right there. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Since we've gone ahead and selected that payment, it's going to be like that payment's going in. And we're going to go ahead and select a few other payments here. Now standard, just to give you all a quick overview, what would happen now is House Call Pro would come in and they would put in receive from House Call Pro into the House Call Pro credit card processing fees and remove out their fees. So I'm going to real quick do that for these three transactions that I've selected here and I'll be right back with you all. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and put in these fees here and that's going to correlate to the fees associated with each of these transactions coming in. Now you can find that information by looking at the My Money page in House Call. And whenever you're running credit cards through House Call, it's going to give you a breakdown of each and every deposit that's done, along with the total amount charged, the amount charged for fees, and the total amount you receive for each transaction, along with the amount that actually went into the bank account. So it'll help you figure all of that out right there if you ever need to do this. Now again, since mine is not set up to do this, you aren't seeing this here. 
but this is about what it would be and I use just a quick easy number of 2.5% credit card processing fees. Please make sure that you know the fee that you're being charged and you can use that there because it will vary. Now as we kind of take a look at everything here, the next step is going to be issuing this refund. Now you don't physically issue this refund from your bank account. The refund with credit cards is actually issued by pulling it out of funds that you're going to receive on a future transaction. Now since this one was actually received um, and refunded at the same time, it's not going to be an issue. But one thing to keep in mind is if you go ahead and you charge a customer $10,000 and then you refund that, refund them two days later that $10,000, if you're not doing another huge transaction coming in, it may this may span out over several different transactions because they'll pull it out slowly as those transactions come through. So it might take three or four deposits to come through to equal that $10,000 and refund everything back out. Do keep that in mind. But since we do have adequate funds here, we're just going to go ahead and select this transaction here. And this is going to be our refund. Now what that's going to do is it's going to reduce our deposit by $1,000 because that's what's happening. House Call Pro is pulling that $1,000 out before it even hits our bank account. But one thing to keep in mind, as I said in the beginning, they're not pulling out the full $1,000. They're pulling out the amount that they paid you. So with this $1,000, they took a percentage. For me, using my 2.5%, they took 2.5% or $25 out of um, the money that I received. So I only received $975 instead of $1,000. Keep that in mind. So what we're going to have to do here is the same thing we see here. We're just going to do House Call Pro with House Call Pro credit card processing fees there. And then we're going to go ahead and put in an amount of positive 25. So what you'll notice here is all of these are negative because House Call Pro is removing these. This one is positive because House Call Pro is giving this back to us. What this is going to allow, and the reason that this happens is it's just recording that even though we receive full payment here, $251 did not go into our bank account and went to these processing fees. And if this happened on two different transactions, we would want to show that the money was pulled out and didn't go into our bank, and then the money was paid back in by house call. That way we're tracking it correctly on your profit and loss statement through your cost of goods sold, but we're also tracking your bank account correctly. So by adding this $25, it's now increasing or honestly decreasing the amount that is decreased, so increasing, this negative number here. So it's also increasing this number here. So this number here, if you go back here and look at the My Money page, it should equal the total amount that is going into your bank account because we want all of our transactions that occurred on that bank deposit day to add up along with all of their fees coming in and going out to equal this amount. So that's why this My Money page is so important. One thing to keep in mind is when you're looking at it with House Call Pro, they are not going to show you with the refund. You generally do not see the fees being returned back to you. You just see the amount that was refunded. So you may have to calculate that yourself or go back and find that just in case. That's why knowing your credit card processing rates is so important. So we go ahead and do all of that there and this number should now match up. Once we do that we can save and close. What has happened there is now we've recorded everything going on in House Call Pro with the money coming in, the money going out and being refunded, and we've recorded it all correctly in QuickBooks to make sure everything um, goes in there correctly. So with that being said, there's one last thing that we need to check. In House Call Pro, we did refund that money. But what that's going to do is it's going to leave a thousand dollar balance on this invoice here. So one of two things need to happen. And that's where we start questioning, are we going to receive a refund or are we going to receive this additional thousand dollar payment here? One thing that I see all the time with credit card transactions is um, if you're doing a large job and you acquire 50% payment up front, you might accidentally collect the entire amount 
and then you have to refund half of it because you didn't mean to collect that amount, we're going to collect that other 50%, so that doesn't matter. However, if you're refunding due to needing to give a discount um, or something like that, then you're going to have to put that in here. If you put in a discount, as we've kind of gone over previously, if you put in a discount, it's going to give you an overage in QuickBooks. So what we actually want to do is we want to come down here and we just want to add a local payment. And just say what it is. And pay it off. Now again, this is only going to apply if you are not going to receive that initial amount. And the reason we're doing this is we want it to be paid off in QuickBooks, but we also want it to be paid off in House Call Pro. This is the basics on how to go through doing this, and it's a fairly complicated process. So as always, guys, if y'all have questions or concerns, don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us an email, something like that, and we'll be happy to help walk you through everything and see what we can do to help you there. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and don't hesitate to reach out.